He's the only African American doctor in the hospital, um, and he's just, he's a newbie as well. I hope people get from this um, a sense of hope. What I hope they take away from this is that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Um, there's always a way forward, and you just kind of have to, you know, you have to kind of continue to believe. And I'm a big advocate for faith and follow through, which would get you anything and anywhere in life. It's a very specific look at a hospital in that situation, but because it's specific, it's incredibly universal because it covers so many different aspects of the disaster. Ultimately, it reminds us that every coastal city in the world is fragile and this could happen anywhere at any time. It's a story that I think people don't no. What happened in this hospital to these 2,000 people over five days is something that was really a story worth telling. Sherry Fink, the author of the book, won a Pulitzer Prize for her coverage and it just felt like it would make an incredible limited series and thankfully Apple gave me and John Ridley the opportunity to do that. What we really tried to do, and I'm sure you felt it watching it, is really make you feel what it was like to be in that place. So Karen Wynn is the uh, ICU nurse manager and I think where we see her in this story is uh, like a lot of the characters is she's just having to get things done as things change. She's got a job to do in spite of just the conditions and being tired and being human and not being with her family. There's no time to wallow, there's no time to uh, to think about anything other than taking care of her patients and, and, uh, and her staff. I play Arthur Butch Schaefer. When the levees broke, Memorial's power system, everything was below sea level, and it knocked out most of their power, air conditioning, everything like that. I think it's essential viewing. I think if you've lived in this country long enough, you understand that our medical system behaves very differently depending on who you are, where you live, what color your skin is, and how much money you have. And this has a lot to say about that. It has a lot to say about that. It's a true story of a hospital that was surrounded by floodwaters after the levees failed. And doctors, nurses, patients were in a very difficult situation. They had to figure out how to evacuate, who to evacuate first, and what to do for people who they thought they might not be able to evacuate. Detective Virginia Ryder, it was a life-changing experience and I felt like there was such an incredible learning curve and I learned so much from everyone. It was interesting to have to tap into that tragedy every day and to have to think about the real people that actually went through it. I play Dr. Horace Baltz. He's the oldest uh, member of the staff at this hospital and he's been there longer than anybody else. It's about lack of preparedness, lack of a plan. It's about people under incredible stress. We have a wonderful cast. Everybody is perfectly cast. 
Apple gave us everything we needed and it's all up on the screen. He ran the floor of the hospital and he made some very difficult calls early on that started a chain of events that led to worse tragedy than they were already facing. It was a failure at every level, on the federal level, state level, local level, administrative within the hospital. There was no plans in place for something this, this horrible happening.